Okay, time for the quick MLP Classic Vlog, and I don't know how to quit the quality. Anyway, go. We have our first two part on the Classic Vlog with Prank at Twilight Sparkle, written by Megan McCarthy. And go. Go. Leading off from a six year left off. Sparkle now Prank kind of have to deal with, you know, the pressure of everything, and she doesn't really know what she can really do all of this. And then things aren't made really eager when Luna and Glacia randomly vanish, and at the same time, the other three forms seem to be invading to figure out what the heck is going on, and perhaps with the help of Discord. So, this was a Kingdom 4 premiere, and boy, this definitely looked interesting at the premiere. Also, one of the more controversial ones of this finale, that didn't controversial, but this one, this one, if you look at the weakest one at that point, or the best one. And it was interesting, and, and it's interesting, King 4, it's my favorite King, and a lot of people favorite King in the well, but yet, it gets a premiere, was a little bit more comfortable than the finale, like, ten, premiere tend to go over pretty well, and that finale, they're like, you know, and here's the opposite, uh, because, it's not like, who hated the premiere, or that huge of it's just, you know, a couple of little, on the mix side, and, you know, now, now, looking at another one that technically was off my PS4 list. It was an honorable mention at the time, but for me, it now would be on there, like another 10 or so. But, you know, okay, some stuff wouldn't be on there now. But it would be right at the bottom, you know. But, uh, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I've been in the for a little bit since then. Yeah, but, now I'll admit, uh, with this. With this particular two part, I am slightly mixed on I care to be great, but more for the minor thing. They have Krogue and Kong in a two part. But Krogue is that the character clean time fill up a lot better. It, you know, it's not quite wonky. It could be in some like the Crystal Empire, for example. Um, and each one gets, even if, it's not huge, even if they don't all get an amazing moment, they all get something. You know, something amusing. Like, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you can go. I do believe they put that up a little better, and of course, this one also has, of course, in the end, they all go tone things down, because it's all about fighting a bad guy, because it feels generic, or paint by number, that's one of the ones can be. <laughs> yeah, go back to another plot. But con is that, because of that, it does kind of feel more like a 22 map could stretch out. Because I get pointer, it turned out the whole thing happened over some dumb thing Dick one did, and so no one really out to get them, but it was just a dumb thing happened, which feels kind of, well, amusing that is, <laughs> we have had that be a collusion after 40 whole minutes a lot of it, you know? And, you know, and, and of course, they also lack a really big moment that would make it usually worry to get premiere. Go ahead, the pro and the cons, and and I'll admit, some elements do before, and there's more filler than there might be. And much of I like certain things, like, but some things have a thematic purpose, which, yeah, uh, you know, because Twilight isn't trying to, you know, be ungood and, you know, worry, you know, you know, print and everything, and collect your, it's called some completion, you know, it's been a year since the career, since the year started, what a year, alright? Um, and of course, from Collectia, you know, from the nation before this point, we're going, you know, bad because, you know, reminded her of how she had to banish Luna, you know, she told Twilight about this. And we get a flashback for showing that. And then later at the end, when they have this conversation, now she doesn't, you know, have to be scared while doing this, because now Luna's back. So that flashback thematically has a purpose, even though. It doesn't get tie in as much as Twilight Clark as it probably could have, and I kind of vote free bit, it's not brought up a lot. You know? Huh. Um, you know, but still, as a fat purpose. In a Discord flashback, you know, you know, be better foreshadowed for Lady and Rain playing the Tree of Harmony. But, you know, in a way, it is slightly fillery at times, you know, both parts of the filler. And of course, now I need to, for the problem I have, I got to go, like, the Oko is my game where that was Jack had to I go back. Um, I am kind of mixed on that game because, on one hand, yeah, logically, it is kind of weird on top of that. 
in the end, they end up, you know, getting their neck beat and eating Twilight, proving again that Twilight is awesome again, which is a problem some people might have occasionally. Go, you know, go end up being kind of pointless. But on the other hand, it's a very well done scene, you know, emotionally, because with no music, and you can tell it's going to be heavy heart that the happened, you know. So, it's nice and executed, but logically, in the terms of narrative, it's not the greatest. Not quite bad, compared to my make have to be, but, you know. Um, you know, um, but I, you know, the stuff that they like, great are some of the minor stuff, you know. Like how they did address a lot of people in concern, like, well, Twilight trains, no, she's still game, and she's better where we are about how she can handle it. You know, just Cordwell, don't worry, he's still, you know, evil and mischievous. He's just a bit more on the side now, which makes him more ashamed than he could have been. Um, you know, you know, and they go in the way, and of course, the individual small moments. Again, my favorite thing in the whole thing is that flashback of Fletcher and Luna. You know, again, Fletcher and Log is my favorite book between Coke of Vic and Master Winter Cure. Go the prompt you went so far or more to the narrative when you're doing any actual character problem. When they actually write her the character, she's great. When they write her the prop, not so much. But again, that's not a character problem, that ain't a writing problem. You know, I try to think of that. Um, yeah, we get to keep just how hard it was for her to you know, banish you know, Luna, and that whole scene is really content. And that one bit where King Link Lashing might be kind of dead, and damn. Not only the music, but the animation, and of course the wake acting is too strong there. It's like, why did you do it? It's like, every time they get me. <laughs> you know, small moment, but it's really like, you know, you know. And, and of course, we overall like argue with like Twilight, you know, stuff to make it pretty interesting. And again, I'll go ahead and go to you know, enough, yeah. I had much feel bitch about I do like the part of Tink behind the coloring book and the creamy frat thing. Uh, I find that funny. I don't, but if it's funny, I don't really care, you know. Is that just like gonna be a pride be like, I don't know. Uh, but, I'm directing it now. Her baby room here for the first half of it. Didn't bother me as much because it was funny, but who cares? Um, look at how funny and freak a crowd, but we don't go get to that one. Um, you know, we're guessing about this one is that Mem McCarthy can occasionally have a problem with villains, but this one, she, um, she doesn't have that problem because we don't know a unique villain, and she writing for this one. She better with villains are people who created most of the time, so actually the show, and actually the show is theoretically well. Um, but, so, you know, angle of oh, and the kind of comes back animation of the show. I mean, the, the detail with shading and the lighting and the locking is really good. Especially the scene we're at the thing black thing early on. So poppy in the fall there for the um you know, back really nice and the course for flashback and stuff with Shea Harmony, especially at the end. Very pretty, very nice. Um the back animation I've seen the show would probably try Kino, but the cat comes back animation in a gospel big thing. I think a lot of great the anime bit, especially in Team 4, so, there you go, um, now, this scene, the premiere did start to show a formula of every other one, they already have a Kong, Team 1 Kong, Team 2 no Kong, Team 3 Kong, Team 4 no Kong, Team 5 Kong, Team 6 no Kong, well, King Kevin happen, it will have a Kong, we don't have any confirmation of what's gonna happen, by the way, I believe because we're working on the movie, they aren't quite sure whether that will be the end of it or whatever, because they probably haven't gotten the word. But the thing is, by this time last year, they were already probably fishing up. In fact, you don't want to know how long this stuff takes. When the script from Scalable Review was locked around the time Party Poop aired. So, yeah. <laughs> by the way, in the Gotham Hey, that's done. I'm almost done. Go, so I go back to my Q2 wrap up. You're saying you're almost done, you should take 30 more minutes after that, so I don't believe you. <laughs> oh, I guess shit, that would prove him wrong. <laughs> um, anyway, go, so this new premiere does have a pro and a con where, yeah, it got a few more pointless and like, you know, epic than other new premiere, but it divides with you know, time a lot better, and all its own is to be an interesting story of, you know, you know, I would direct a lot of things, kind of good animation, everything, emotional, small moment. Go, so, yeah, I'm good to be fairly great. Now, um, it gets in a couple ways, it gets better than some of the other ones, but 
I'm like alternate list in my favorite. I'm coming with lower than a few ones that are arguably weaker, like Crystal Empire, for example. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but again, they probably do do how. I just want sucker for the big epic stuff like Moldon, but I'm a small stuff for Moldon. And I have a few more like minor issues when I do with Rogue up go. The problem with Rogue don't bug me much. But Rogue doesn't want to bug me too much. I can have a path it. But you know, watch it again, maybe you're like, okay, we're gonna a few more problems. And, but the stuff that go, I don't think go, it might objectively be better than the other one can come away, but I do think objectively I prefer other so. I think that. For a two part and have a ton of K because with not much complexity going on well on and I think with Epicogue I have my opinion on dead again on. I can get my opinion out a lot faster. So overall Pink Knight Sparkle might have to bump in the road, but it's a pretty great way to start in and in a way and Bank of Coffee can um back in McCarthy. Okay, that came with it again. God damn it, my mind again. Um um you can get back to Cure part one or three part if it's been there two part. Hell, even a more bigger part of general. <laughs> I may or may not own that. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, and then go away and wrecking that stuff, it's very catfine. Again, it won't be a failure or think I can look back or think more too disappointing. Go. So, so, there you go. Pick a twice article. Pretty great. It's not a making and it got a problem here and there. I'll go with Shoot Twilight Cane, uh, to court give her a cane thing, I kind of got a fake on it, which I guess became a big deal. I don't get what the big deal is, but it referenced in Quick Life, I got an example of, uh, you know, referencing. I don't know why it was there or how to become a big deal. I only get it. It didn't even, when it popped up in here, I'm like, oh, that's where that's from. So, there you go. Go before I, go, I guess I can wrap up here and, you know, tell you about stuff. But first, hope. If you like that caucus value poster, because it isn't going away, because it's coming out this Friday before I do an next vlog, and, and, and the likely chances it will be bad, I will take it down. If it ain't up being good, I'll keep it up at least until I go find another poster. Um, you know, again, they have poster get the, the feeder, but for, for, they have traded them out for a while. But unfortunately, what time it's a feeder for movie I don't care about, go. Yeah, uh, hopefully a queen again. I really would wanna but anyway oh, go if it go if you keep it on Carrie, you know how I felt about the movie about his read my review. <laughs> you know, go. Mm -hmm. Auntie won't be take it down regardless because he didn't like the poster we're coming in. <laughs> um but yeah. Go that dug it from the trite sparkle. Wish I could game more but oh well. Fuck I wanted to keep my phone short and I gained my opinion. It's very, very good. It is a problem. Anyway, let's pick up that one for the man of our Okay. My number is six. Damn, that's going away. Anyway, that's can't be both butter. Oh, joy. <laughs> because I, oh boy, I'm gonna have to fuck that one. Well, that's another one I kind of talked a little bit about in that reaction video, but no one watched well, and that Carly, but you'd have to get to the end of the reaction to keep my opinion. So, a Carly professional. So, I will see you next Monday for both lessons. Um, when that code works, I just like it. I am second. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, hopefully, I won't make any vote kind of joke where about it. I had to get one out of the way now. <laughs> you look okay. <laughs> so, yeah, this Saturday it is, um, what's the code? It. Ah, um, uh, 28 prank player. Yes. Um,. You know, um, and go, yeah, I got that next week, that, that quick week, and next week I got, I got that bonus muster. Uh, I shouldn't be resting for the next generation, should I? <laughs> oh, yeah, I went there. Oh, got that on my custom. I shall, don't know if I have any of you planned again. If coffee strikes my fancy and want to talk about it, I'll talk about it. I'll probably talk about the free TV universe finale, maybe. I might. Like my random vlog there. Again, I'm taking a few probably I will go over this. But anyway, I shall see you all next this Saturday and next week and beyond. Um, bye. <laughs>